Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you the complete procedure of downloading and installation of OpenOffice application. Now, why are we downloading and installing this application OpenOffice? The reason is that when I'm talking about information technology subject code 402 syllabus, then in three units of that subject, we are going to use this application OpenOffice. For example, in digital documentation we will use it as well as an electronic spreadsheet and database management system also we are going to use this software that is open office so today in this video just uh, see the procedure of downloading and installation of the application so first of all when we are going to download the software from the internet so we have to open one web browser so here i am going to use web browser google chrome and in the google chrome i am going to type the url for downloading the software that is openoffice.org so follow one by one all the steps for downloading and installation of the software the screen google chrome web browser is there if you want you can use internet explorer or mozilla firefox also so first of all google chrome web browser i have opened and now in the address bar i am going to type url and that is openoffice.org so first one openoffice.org so that URL I have typed here and thereafter now I am going to press the enter key. So we will get here the first page of the website that of open office. So now you can see on your screen the Apache open office website is there on the screen. Now here. So next step will be what? We will move to this point. We have to click on this link that is download. So as I am going to click on this download option, one more web page got open here. And here we have to use this option that is download full installation. So when I click on this download full installation option, one another web page will get open, and uh, that you can see now is on the screen, and it will take few seconds to start the downloading. So now here you can see just above the start button that is on the taskbar, downloading got start and uh, here the total size is 135 MB and uh, 1.9 MB got download so here as you can see now downloading got is start so we have to wait for few minutes and thereafter we will move to the next step so as you can see now that this software got uh, download now after completing the downloading process we have to click on this arrow and when we click on this arrow we have to go for this option that is open when we click on this open option, one pop-up will come here on the screen. So this pop-up we got here and now in this we have to click on yes option. And after that, as we click on the yes option, this new pop-up will come here and just click on the next option. After that, just select the location. This is the default location selected by the software. So here I am not going to change it. And if you want to change then click on this browse option. And after the uh, selection of the location, click on the install option. Now installation is going on and it will take a few minutes to complete the installation process. Now one more pop up will come here. So it is preparing for the installation. Now after that we have to follow few more steps here. So just click on the next option that we are getting here. After that here you can give the username and organization name if you want. And thereafter just click on the next option. And after that here we have two options typical and custom. So I am going for the typical one. So typical is already opted here. And thereafter next option again. And thereafter install. So here we are getting the message this may take several minutes so here our installation process will get complete. So now we have to click on this finish option and here our installation process will get complete. So now here everything got over now I am just moving to my desktop to see that we are getting this application there or not so here now you can see on the desktop this open office 4.1.7 is there and now i am going to open it 
it is getting open now and here you can see that apache open office 4 got open and uh, in the first unit is digital documentation we are going to use this component of the software in that electronic spreadsheet we are going to use this component and in the third one that is database management system we are going to use this component of this software so this is the complete details that how we can download and install the software as well as which component of this software we are going to use in our syllabus so here i am going to end this video and if you understood the complete procedure then like the video and subscribe the channel because very soon i am going to upload few more videos of the syllabus